Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be trying out Blackmath Wukong on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Blackmath Wukong is an action RPG game rooted in Chinese mythology. In case you don't already know, the game has turned out to be a massive hit. It has already broken the record of highest number of concurrent players on Steam playing a game day one of its release. I think the number touched 2 million. This game officially supports FSR 3.0, not FSR 3.1, so I was not able to use DLSS Upscaler in conjunction with FSR Frame Generation. I was not impressed by the image quality of FSR Upscaler, so I decided to use Nukem 9's free DLSS G2 FSR 3 mod. It basically replaces DLSS Frame Generation with FSR Frame Generation, allows us to use DLSS Upscaler. Nvidia Reflex also works fine in this game. The mod is compatible with all RTX GPUs. The game is shipped with an older version of DLSS Upscaler, it's version 3.1.30. I'll show you how to update the Upscaler to the latest version. The opening cutscene and the game's prologue are very demanding on the GPU. Apparently, FSR frame generation does not work in that sequence, but it works fine in the levels following the prologue. Now, I have not completed the game yet. It is possible that this bug may occur again in later parts of the game. But when I used Nukem 9's FSR 3 mod, frame generation was working properly even in the opening sequence. Yes, you heard it right. So first I'll demonstrate this bug, run the game with FSR frame generation. Regarding the game's performance, game's benchmark tool is a good representative of it. Make sure you have updated your GPU drivers. This is the latest GeForce game ready driver optimized for Blackmath Wukong version 560.94. Game size is around 118 GB. I have installed the game on an NVMe SSD. Display settings, mode set to borderless, resolution full HD, vSync, motion blur and frame rate cap disabled. Upscaler set to DLSS using its ultra quality preset, resolution skill set to 80%. I'll try to enable frame generation. It's not possible on RTX 20 series GPUs. Frame generation not supported. It's limited to RTX 40 series GPUs. Okay, so I'll just switch to FSR. 80% resolution skill, frame generation on, I am using the high preset, ray tracing disabled, my GPU just cannot handle it, everything set to high, apply the settings, and yeah, this is the opening cutscene, FPS here is around 50, and this is when I have enabled frame generation, frame generation is actually not working, We'll be fighting against another god in a cloudy arena, surrounded by titans. FPS dropped down to around 30, this is insane. Soon Wukong reminds me of Goku, flying Nimbus, back up to 50. The gameplay is much smoother than this cutscene. Real time gameplay. Here FPS is within a range of 50 to 60. And check out the image quality. Yeah, clouds are looking a bit fuzzy. Character model, especially when using a special moves. Fast visual motion. I'll just disable frame generation. 60 FPS. Set it to off. Even with frame generation disabled, I am getting roughly the same performance. So frame generation was not working. Now I'll show you how to install Nukem 9's mod. We'll be using the universal DLL version of Nukem 9's mod. Build version 0.100 can be downloaded from Nexus Mods website. Just click on this blue link here. You need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. And just click on files click on manual download under universal click on slow download 
go to this website tech power up i'll give its link in the description from here just download the latest version of nvidia dlss dll its version 3.7.20 click on download and just click on any server from this list and the download will start first i'll install newcom nice mod just open the mods archive file then copy this folder dll underscore version go back paste open the folder copy these two dll files version and dlss g2 fsr3 md is better open the games install directory i on the steam version of black myth select the game in your steam library right click Go to manage, then go to browse local files. Open B1 folder. Open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Paste the two DLL files here where the game's exe file is present. Mod has been installed. The process is that simple. Make sure hardware accelerated GPU setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anywhere in the desktop area, then click on display settings. Click on graphics. Click on change default graphics settings. From here, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and VRR also if your display supports it. I'll be enabling VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings. Click on program settings. Click on the drop down bar. I have already added Blackmate Wukong. If it's not showing up here, just click on add. Look for a file name B1 there's b1 scroll down to the end enable vsync from here click on apply click on setup gsync and make sure these settings are enabled enable gsync gsync compatible enable for full screen mode enable settings for the selected display apply again now i'll show you how to update dlss upscaler just open the archive file corresponding to the latest version of dlss there it is copy this dll file Open the games install directory. Open engine folder. Open plugins folder. Open runtime folder. Open NVIDIA folder. Open DLSS folder. Open binaries folder. Open third party folder. Open Win64 folder. Finally, there is the DLL file. I'll show you the version of it. It's version 3.1.30.0. You can create a backup of it if you want. I'll just overwrite the file. Now I'll show you the version. It's 3.7.20.0. Upscaler has been updated. We are ready to run the game. Graphics setting. I'll set the upscaler to DLSS and enable frame generation. There you go. It worked. Apply the setting. Ultra quality preset of DLSS. You can see FPS got capped to 225. This means NVIDIA Reflex is working. My display supports up to 240 hertz refresh rate. Now we are getting 100 FPS. Frame generation is definitely working. My main reason for using Newcom 9 Smart was to use DLSS upscaler. FSR frame generation does work properly in the levels following the prologue. real-time gameplay i'll quickly defeat this god it's a very demanding sequence fighting against the god and this cloudy arena i'll use my abilities i'll 
can see FPS is staying around 100. Very smooth experience. This game does suffer from traversal status. This is a scripted sequence. We'll end up losing against this god. But we need to deplete his health bar. He is spamming his special attacks. I am also spamming my attacks. So many Wukongs. Look at the beautiful cloud effect when I swing my weapon. Don't worry, lighting everywhere. And the titans are just observing us. Fighting Buddha, have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. DLSS Upscaler does a good job of rendering the hair properly. I can see a screen tearing like effect on the left and right edges of the display. It's a common artifact when using FSR 3. This mod actually supports FSR 3.1, so yeah, FSR 3.1 also has this problem. A few hitches here. You're yeah, not done yet. I bonked this guy. Finally, we're done. Now we're in the forest. Here, FPS is around 110. Quickly cleared the area. Okay, I'll just enable ray tracing to give you an idea how demanding it is. On ray tracing level set to low, I need to restart my PC in order to apply the change. Reload the same sequence. Now we are getting around 60 FPS, and this is with frame generation enabled. Can observe some input delay. <laughs> this FPS should be around 30. You can see game is running in a slow motion state. It's not recommended to enable ray tracing on RTX 2070 Super GPU. I'll be honest, the visuals really look stunning. Beautiful lighting. Oh my god, look at those stutters. These traverses stutters are present. A classic example of a game running using Unreal Engine. Just disable ray tracing. Off. My current location, forest of wolves, outside the forest. Thick foliage here, good for testing the game. Check out the image quality. I'll be honest guys, I am observing some minor ghosting around the character model. Very difficult to observe it. But it's present. Okay, I'll engage in combat. Take out these small fries. I go this way. Upon resting at the shrines, these creatures will respawn. Few hatches. Okay, 
upon entering a new area there will be a few hiccups here and there FPS stayed within a range of 90 to 100. Recent performance on RTX 2070 Super GPU. This game is really very demanding. See the reflection quality on the water surface. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.